on my team, I'm with Foodie, yo, slime G. And he got me smoking on leak. Pop out, ready to rock out. If you ever spoke on leakage, boy, I promise you it's If you ever spoke on leakage, boy, I promise you it's More than one person may have gotten out of a car this morning at two women inside a Porsche SUV. Welcome back to Industries TV. And today, we're going to be talking about Little Uzi Vert's artist, Lot of Cash Desto. So before we get into this video, make sure y'all smash that like button. And if y'all not subscribed to this channel, make sure y'all subscribe with post notifications turned on. Now about 3 a.m. this morning, Desto was riding with a few friends in a silver Porsche in Houston when a car rolled up and started firing shots into the Porsche. Now Desto was shot and killed on the scene. Another female occupant was shot and wounded and a male that was standing outside of the vehicle was also shot and wounded. Now before we get deep into this video, let me just say this. I see a lot of rumors blaming Empire Records, which I fail to understand is a lot of these independent artists that's coming up, they get distribution deals through Empire. They not signed directly to Empire. Empire just collect a revenue from YouTube when you get a copyright claim and it says Empire. They collect their streams from Apple Music and Spotify, basically handling all their business so they could just make music. Now the people that's coming up with these conspiracy theories are not looking into the street beef. These people have beef in the street. She was beefing with an artist by the name of J. Dot Breezy, and she dissed his affiliate Leaky in a music video featuring Fulio. So as y'all can see, she's sitting there with Fulio and she dissing Leaky, which is an affiliate of J. Dot Breezy. Now Fulio has been beefing with J. Dot Breezy for a while. So being that she's with Fulio in that music video and this in Leaky, she's aligning herself with Fulio and J. Dot Breezy beef. Now Leaky is no longer alive and his people stated anybody that this Leaky gotta go. Basically, they gotta die. If you ever spoke on Leaky, well, I promise you is dead. If you ever spoke on Leaky, well, I promise you is dead. Right now, Houston police are investigating what led to a shooting that left a woman dead and two others injured in southwest Houston. Yeah, this all happened a little bit before 3 this morning on Richmond and Chimney Rock. And KPRC 2's Rewan Belogan is there now, has been there since shortly after that all happened. Hey, good morning. Houston police working to get access to surveillance video at the end of Richmond here to better piece together exactly what unfolded overnight. Investigators believe more than one person may have gotten out of a car this morning shooting at the two women inside a Porsche SUV before three this morning at Chimney Rock and Richmond in Southwest Houston. Police say the driver was killed, the passenger injured, and a man not inside the car was also injured. Investigators are looking to determine how he's connected to all of it. Now, detectives believe a vehicle pulled in front of them on Richmond and open, and people started shooting at the vehicle. Now, investigators believe the victim to be in her early 20s. They're hoping anyone in the area who has surveillance video or may have witnessed anything to ident to call Houston police as they're trying to get better suspect description. Live in Southwest Houston, Robon Belogan, KPRC 2 News. So as y'all can see, it's not hard to tell what really happened here. She aligned herself with somebody who had heavy beef in the streets, then took on that beef once she started dissing their dead ops. Yeah, I have respect for that little nigga leaky though, like uh you know, like a lot of dead ops was bitches. What leaky? I ain't gonna say he was no, but I ain't just gonna walk up. You ain't gonna just walk off on shit. You know what I'm saying? Now, Fulio beef is so heavy in the streets. Even his girlfriend at the time, Booba Baby, was shot while she was sitting at a traffic light while she was driving one of Fulio cars. She was grazed in the head by a bullet and shot in the knee and the hand. She was able to escape without life-threatening injuries. This shot that whole finger off, she couldn't even tweet it, ayy. This shot that whole finger off, she couldn't even tweet it, ayy. So after Julio Fulio girlfriend was shot while sitting at the traffic light, his ops went and made a song stating and confessing to the crime. Now Julio Fulio knew exactly who shot his girl while she was driving his car and was stopped at the stoplight. Shot my car twice and hit my not leaking rest of it. Shot my car twice and hit my not leaking rest of it. So as y'all can see, Julio Fulio had heavy beef in the street. 
and Desto aligned herself with Julio Fulio, which was the wrong person to align herself with. Because if they can't get him, they gonna get anybody that's close to him, anybody that's connected with him. As y'all can see, they shot his girlfriend and she didn't have anything to do with his beef. She was just connected to him. So what y'all thought was gonna happen to Desto, being that she aligned herself with Julio Fulio and she was dissing his dead ops. So this has nothing to do with Empire Records. Empire Records is not taking these artists out. Y'all have to look at the lifestyle that they lead before they get into the industry. What about a lot of these other artists that's not signed to Empire? Basically, Empire is not a record label. They are a distribution company. But at the same time, these other artists that's not affiliated with them and they end up getting shot and killed. Is it Empire fault also? Y'all gotta think and use common sense. Now in the conversation between Kodak Black and Desto, she said she had a distribution deal with Empire. Only a distribution deal. Not a label deal, not being signed as an artist, but a distribution deal, as y'all can see on the screen. She said, appreciate it bro, that mean a lot, you a legend on God. We gotta lock in. Then Kodak Black said, who you signed to? Then Desto said, I ain't signed to nobody. I just did a distribution deal with Empire though. I'm trying to come to Sniper Gang. Then Kodak Black said, Sniper Gang waiting with open arms for you. Then she said, I'm ready on guard. Let me know what's the next move. I'm on it. Then she came back and said, say less yak on guard. I'm ready bro. We finna go crazy. I'm a lock in. Just let me know. Hey bro, stop playing bro. I ain't even, I don't, I don't give a about me being on live, bro. You need to play with me. That can go down any well. See me up that brick in the mall and the ran. The ran. All you scouted like roaches. We sitting there lying on KP. His dead ass. You trying to play gangster like when shots get let off, y'all just be no. When them shots get let off, get the scattering. When see a gun, get the scattering, bro. Come on, bro. He coming down. He coming down the mall. Oh, um, he walking down the sidewalk. And I'm the closest one to it. I popped off from the dog and I'm just knocked the out, bro. My boy got that mutual lead. So now that y'all seen that and heard that, stroll down to that comment section. Tell me what y'all think about this crazy situation. I'ma just say this. I believe that Julio Fulio is the reason she was shot and killed. It don't take a rocket scientist to put this together. First they shoot at his girl, she gets shot, but she survived. Then they shoot at him, he survived. And now they shoot at Desto and she didn't survive. Even though she's affiliated with Little Uzi Vert, she was aligning herself with other people not knowing what type of beef they have. Y'all gotta stop dissing the dead. She dissing somebody she didn't even know. All because she was trying to fit in with Julio Fulio. But it is what it is, man. Let me know what y'all think down below in that comment section. Don't forget to smash that like button. And if you're not subscribed to this channel, make sure you subscribe with post notifications turned on.